Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a brief discussion on creating beautiful melodies for the flute. The flute is one of the most natural of all wind instruments. The way we produce the tone on the flute is perhaps the simplest. There is no reed to vibrate, no lips vibrating, no strings being struck. We simply pass air across an open hole on what becomes a closed tube of varying lengths depending on which fingers we engage. The sound is very pure and very natural. So the flute has a comfortable three octave range, a really beautiful instrument, a really singing instrument, if you sing through the flute. So how do you sing through the flute? Well the first thing is to sing the song at least in part that you want to play on your instrument. If the song has words to it, learn a few of the words of the verse and the chorus and have a go at singing the melody. Now, I am not a singer by any stretch of the imagination. However, that's never stopped me from expressing what I want to play on all of my instruments through my voice. If we take one of the most famous melodies known right around the world, Amazing Grace. The words to the first opening strains of Amazing Grace are these. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Now it's very obvious I'm not a trained singer. But I can express myself as a musician with my voice so that when I go to play that famous song on an instrument that does not let me sing and play at the same time, I instantly take a vocal approach to the instrument. So on the flute, Amazing Grace can sound like this. <laughs> Now I have a video of me playing Amazing Grace on the alto flute, the big G flute, so please check that out if you're interested in hearing an extended version of Amazing Grace on the flute. The important thing is it's very easy to transfer a singing approach with your breathing, your vibrato and your notes, the notes that you want to play, if you first express them with your voice. Now another famous simple melody in music is the song that made James Galway famous around the world. Now James Galway was principal flute in the Berlin Philharmonic and all of the great classical orchestras around the world. But it was Annie's song, the simple tune written by the country singer John Denver, that made James Galway both his millions and made him the famous man with the golden flute. Like Amazing Grace, Annie's song has less than an octave's range and only uses the notes straight out of the major scale. It has beautiful words to it. You fill up my senses like a night in a forest. So what a lovely mind picture that creates, those lyrics. How does that sound on a a single note instrument where we can't sing and play at the same time. Now I also have a full length version of Annie's song on flute on YouTube, so check that out if you want to hear the, the longer version of the tune. Now, if we're going to write our own melody, think of what those two highly successful songs that we've just looked at, Amazing Grace and Annie's Song, do range and technique-wise. 
They have an octave range only. They don't have a three octave range. It's just simple music, strong melodies, beautiful melodies. I'd like to finish this tutorial by playing a clip that I uploaded yesterday of a song I've called Outside Looking In. On reflection, after I recorded this song, I noticed that this melody also has a one octave range. It features very common chord progressions, A minor to G, F major to D minor 7th to A minor, F major to C major 7th, F major to E 7th. There are no complicated chords in those progressions. That's the harmony on which this original composition of mine is built. So have a listen, enjoy, and note the singing style that I'm playing both the concert flute and the sopranino saxophone on Outside Looking In. Bye for now.